In this question, we will identify the degrees, the leading coefficient, and the solutions of polynomial functions. Here they have told to state the degree and the leading coefficient of the given function. You must see what is the highest degree. Here the highest power or degree is phi. So that will be directly your degree, that's phi. Now what is the number behind it, the coefficient behind the highest degree? You don't see 3 or minus 8 because this is not the degree of the function. The degree is the highest power, that's phi. The number beside it is minus phi. That will be the leading coefficient. It should be phi and minus phi option D. That's it. Now how many solutions or real zeros are there? That is, if a graph touches the x-axis, you can see over here, it's touching the x-axis at this point, one, two, three, four times. So there are four real zeros. So there can be imaginary zeros also, but that means it will not touch this. So say for example, you have a quadratic function like this. It's not touching the x-axis. So you will still have roots for this, but they are imaginary. But now over here, if you're touching twice, it'll be two roots. But this given problem, we have four times the graph touching the x-axis. Therefore, answer is four zeros. That's a real zeros. Now we need to state the degree and the leading coefficients of this. The degree and the leading coefficient for the seventh is one and one. Degree is one, leading coefficient is one. What about this? Now here, you need to simplify this before you find the answer. So what I would do is, I know this is the highest degree and this is the highest degree in these two parts. So you just multiply these both and that's enough. That'll be two times four, it's eight x power three. No matter what I do, any other terms, I'll never have this degree. The highest degree will be only this. So it's power three and leading coefficient is eight. So whenever it's like this. Now, what if it was say one minus two x and then you have this. So then I will take the highest part over here and this part will be minus eight x power three. That would be the answer. And that would be the degree three and leading coefficient would be minus eight. So just focus on the highest ones. Now what if there are three? There's one more over here. Say imagine you have one more term, say x power two plus one. Then take this, this and this highest in each terms, multiply them all together. That will be the final answer and see the degree and the leading coefficient of that particular term. So that's how we do it. But generally, you'll be given out like this. So this over here is 6 degree coefficient 7. And over here, it's 5 minus 5. Please do these by yourselves. They are very straightforward. You can pause the video now and look and solve it up. So over here, this is not in one variable. Though the degree over here, highest degree will be 4. 2 and 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. Over here, also 4. But we don't solve in two variables. It's only in one variable that I've clearly mentioned. Here, this is not a polynomial because we have divided by its negative exponent. So you, you can't have negative exponents in a polynomial. What about these? How many zeros are there? It's not touching the y-axis, only the x-axis. So it's 1, 4, and 3. Um, here, please do it by yourselves and then look into the answers. Answers are 2. You can see over here it's three. and lastly we have three again that is the end of this question i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments i hope you all will head on to the next video